Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in to the Homestead's YouTube channel. On this episode we're going to talk about the most effective strategy to cope with caterpillar infestations on your fruit trees. So this tree, an apple tree, was on the lot when we moved in. I really have no idea how old it is. It's quite thick at the bottom, um, maybe a foot in diameter, maybe a little under a foot. And last year it produced some small to medium sized apples that were quite good and uh, this tree hadn't been cared for in some time so I gave it a good pruning and tried to shape it a little bit and give it an opportunity to produce for us. Um, unfortunately we didn't have the opportunity this year to apply the neem oil that we usually apply to help with uh, pests, pests around the property and um, this tree without our secondary treatment and care really suffered quite a bit. So in the middle here, you can see right in the center that there is the last blossom on this apple tree. And um, if I get in close here, or where's one? There's one right in there. Um, that's a gypsy moth. And this year, uh, the gypsy moth has been our main issue. You can see all the damage here. And if I go around the tree and show you each individual branch, you can see a ton of damage if you take the time to look. And as I move around here, again, we didn't treat this tree with the, the recommendations that I'm gonna provide on this video. You can see there's just a whole ton of damage there. Um, you're not seeing any blossoms, any apples formed at all. Uh, you know, you can see, there you go, there's a couple, sorry, there's a couple of blossoms that uh, didn't take and another gypsy moth larva there. And as we come along here, there's just, there's, there's really nothing on this tree. And uh, that's my fault. Uh, I didn't really do a great job other than the pruning this year to provide this, this tree with a whole ton of care. There is another large example. No, you can't really see it. Um, but anyways, so, so this tree is, is very damaged. Um, it's going to make it, it's going to be just fine. There's still a lot of foliage on it, but we're not going to get any fruit off this tree. So, um, there's four main species of caterpillar that we seem to have issues with every year. Uh, leaf roller caterpillars are clear with black heads. There's eye spotted bud moths. Um, they're similar to the leaf rollers, but uh, they're dark to light green with a black head. And you'll notice some yellow nesting. Um, almost kind of looks like insulation when they're present on the trees. Uh, there's the forest tank caterpillar, which I'm sure everybody's well aware of. Hairy brown and black with blue spots and uh, has a, a tenting defense mechanism to prevent prey like birds from consuming them and, and wasps and, and hornets and yellow jackets, just their predator species. And uh, the gypsy moth. So again, this tree was untreated uh, with our method that I'm going to explain to you in a moment. I'm going to go to another apple tree in the front that received the full treatment this year and show you the difference. Okay, so here we are in the front yard in the perennial portion of our garden, and this is a mac tree. Um, it is four years old. Well, it's, it was planted four years ago, almost to the date, and um, you can see the base down at the bottom significantly smaller than the tree in the back, and maybe it was a year or two old when we purchased it, so five or six years old. But this, this tree uh, received the full attention and treatment method that I'm going to recommend. Um, I'm going to go through, uh, there, there's, there's other treatments um, that we don't use. So one treatment is when you see caterpillars, it's recommended by some places to uh, combine some soap and water and spray them. And uh, I don't do this uh, do, simply due to the fact that I find that it burns the leaves in the sun, um, does more harm than good and uh, you have to reapply it constantly if it's gonna be effective. So that's not really a good treatment option for us. Uh, another treatment option is uh, pesticide use, which we're absolutely trying to avoid, and I assume most of you following along on the channel are trying to avoid yourselves. But uh, here we'll take a quick look. So there, there's some, 
a small grouping of apples there. You can see some up there. You can see some down there and over there. And yeah, these did receive uh, a moderate, like a light amount of damage. I'm not going to say moderate, but um, you know, this tree is is loaded, right? Uh, there's some. There's some more apples. There's some more apples. I mean, they're really everywhere. And you can see that this tree's already shifted into um, vegetative growth. Uh, there's about six or seven inches there and on the end of every shoot that is now growing and um, the four the other three trees down the line here are the same age and receive the same treatment so enough of uh, just talking about this treatment um, our treatment is just old-fashioned handwork uh, if you really want to be successful on a small scale and just producing food for yourself and maybe a little bit extra for your friends and your family and for sale maybe um, it's it's going to be handwork i mean this this tree is smaller than the tree in the back uh, it had probably half the amount of flowers on it um, it it had in the neighborhood of i i don't know somewhere five to six hundred blossoms on it and you can see that the vast majority of them uh, are fertilized and are producing apples in fact I'm gonna have to thin this out but that's the trick folks I mean it's there's no quick fix if uh, if you want to have healthy food and large quantities you're gonna have to provide your plants with the attention that they need and this year we have an abundance I mean an absolute abundance of gypsy moth larva and I I may be a little OCD, but I keep track and uh, I know I've killed somewhere in the neighborhood of, of 2,500 of these things in the last two to three weeks. Uh, it really wasn't that long ago, less than a month ago that we had snow for a week. So really all this growth you, you're seeing right now is taking place in the last like three weeks since the buds are, have opened and uh, the flowers have, have been produced, the blossoms have been produced and it was really maybe two weeks ago that the caterpillars became large in number. And I mean, you know, I, I understand that this is not a fun thing to do. It's not an enjoyable experience. Nobody really wants to do it, but there's, there's one right there, right? For me, I'm just gonna grab it and squish it and get rid of it. Uh, there's, there's another one up in there hiding underneath the leaf. So grab it, squish it, get rid of it. There's another one up there. And I mean, this is daily. I'm checking these things on a daily basis and maybe everybody doesn't have time for that. But uh, on my lunch break or when I get home from work, I work 12 hour days and I can take the 45 minutes to walk around my yard after all the time and effort and money I've, I've put into these plants around our lot to ensure that they're gonna produce the food for us that they're designed to. Um, this tree is doing really well. And uh, this Mac right here beside it is another good example. I mean, <clears throat> there you go. Uh, there's a ton, they're not as advanced, but uh, there's a ton, just a ton of flowers on these that have been fertilized. So yeah, that's it folks. That's, that's the big secret. That's uh, what I recommend. Take a little bit of time every day and observe your plants and ensure that they're getting the care that they need. Uh, this right here, I, can, I don't know why this isn't zooming well today. There we go. Uh, this might be a leaf roller in here. Uh, just squish that up. There's another gypsy moth there. So yeah, anyways, uh, it's a time of day where I usually do my walk around and I thought I would walk you through what, what I do. Uh, I have over 70 trees now that produce nuts and fruits and most of them have been planted in the last couple of years. So they're not really in high production yet but uh, they're on their way to doing so, and they're gonna get there faster if I take the time every day to walk around and, and uh, do my best to rid them of pets in an or pests in an organic way. Anyways, folks, that's it for today. Thanks a lot for tuning in as always, and uh, I really appreciate the uh, subscribers and, and everybody that's been hanging around with us for the last couple of years and paying attention to what we're doing. All the positive comments really go a long way for me and, and encourage me to keep doing this. So if you found uh, anything useful in my kind of sneaky titled video, uh, you could uh, give me a like and a share. And as always, any new subscriptions are valued as well as uh, the longtime followers like I was saying previously. Thanks a lot, folks. Have a great day and take care of yourselves.